Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the Files tab on a Minecraft server. Before we get started, if you are trying to upload more than 500 megabytes at any time, you do need to use an SFTP client. I will have a video linked in the description going over how to use an SFTP client. To find the Files tab, we're going to log into our Bicyc Toasting Games panel and choose our Minecraft server. We are then going to go to the Files tab on the left-hand side. To upload files, we are going to go to the desired directory that we want to be in. Then we're going to choose the Upload button and select the files that we would like to upload. Alternatively, you can also just drag and drop files into the desired folder to upload files as well. To create a folder, we can choose the Create drop-down menu and choose Create Folder. And then we can name the folder and press Create and we'll have created a folder. To create files, we can choose the same drop-down menu and choose Create File. Then after editing this file, we can choose the Create File button, and then it'll ask us to name it, and we can name it and choose Create. To rename files, we can right-click the file and choose Rename, then enter the desired new name and click Rename to rename files. To move files to a new directory, we can mark the checkbox next to the file that we want to send over or the folder, choose Move, or alternatively, we can right click and choose move. And then we're going to enter the directory designation before the file or folder name. So it will read something like plugins slash steve.txt. This will then move the steve.txt file into the plugins folder. If you would like to delete files, you can mark the checkbox next to a file or folder and then choose the delete button. Or you can right click and choose delete and confirm with the delete button. If you want to unarchive a zipped folder, you can just right click and choose unarchive. If you want to download single files, you can right click the file and choose download. If you want to download multiple files, you can mark the checkbox next to multiple files and choose the download button. If downloading multiple files, these will automatically download them in a compressed zipped file. Finally, if you'd like to edit files, you can locate the file and click the file to then go into the editor, or you can right click and choose edit to also go into the editor. Make sure when you are editing, you choose the save content button so you save all your work. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.